Yes, you are. <laughs> I'm totally not taking a video yes, of what you're doing right now. Okay. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Rudy Rondo's here, and uh, I know it's been a couple of weeks, but uh, a few things have changed. Uh, one of those being my mind. You know, I went into the whole pinball quest uh, with a plan and had uh, narrowed it down to the two uh, tables that I really wanted, which if you have seen my other videos, was a uh, Godzilla premium or uh, Mandalorian premium. Since then, uh, an opportunity came along that I couldn't say no to. I'm gonna make him an offer he can't refuse. As, you know, people that do impressions say. I did not say no to the uh, proposition. I had recently got a cabinet that was mint condition. Uh, someone wanted said cabinet. They had a pinball machine that they didn't necessarily need. Took the deal and uh, I ran with it. Let's check it out. So yeah, I mean, Jurassic Park Pro. I mean, come on, what was, what? That's completely off base. I was not planning on getting a Jurassic Park. I hadn't even thought about getting a Jurassic Park. However, I played the Jurassic Park and thought, holy crap, this is almost as good as Godzilla. But the deal that was offered on this, I just could not say no to. It was, it was uh, pretty awesome. Um, this came with a ton of uh, mods. Um, you got the blades, the art blades, um, a nice trim on the front, and really the art inside is pretty stellar. Um, the one thing that this does not have that I feel it needs is the connected kit. The connected kit allows you, if you're, if you're not familiar with Stern Pinball, uh, allows you to, you get a little web page you can go to, which is easily created into an app. Um, but you have a QR code that basically stores all of your achievements, scores, and you just put it right over the machine. It reads the QR code and Im immediately puts your name on the board. Whatever achievements and stats you gain, carries over with you to whatever machine you happen to be on. They claim you can add friends and stuff to it, but it doesn't, <laughs> we, have, we have not figured out how to get that to work whatsoever. Because even the search, the search is so broken. I mean, you can't search anything. Or you can put in someone's exact name, doesn't find them. If you haven't played this, it is a, an extremely fun machine. You need to go find one. Another thing that Stern does on their website is allow you to search for pinball tables in your area. So you can see who or you know what arcades or bars may actually have the table you're looking for. Which, you know, we've done a bunch of arcade hopping and stuff to check out different tables. So kind of just came across it by, by accident. But uh, you know, so I saw all three premiums in one space. And you say, why the pro? Well, the cost was just right. I mean, the, the price was perfect. All right, so today you're gonna see me put the connected kit in this because I feel it needs it. So uh, let's get to it. All right, first and foremost, before we even get started, let's kill that power. Stern says to wait about uh, 15 seconds after killing the power to let it dissipate. Okay, good enough. All right. Next step, we crack open the door. We got two cam locks inside. Back. This is the most horrifying part I've ever done in my life. So we need to remove that glass. I'm gonna use gloves. And yes, I am a member of the Mickey Mouse Club. Thank you for asking. Oh boy. No, I tried. Never been able to. I'm gonna use the paw. Pull it. Let go. All of the entire kit basically contains just a few parts. You have uh, a chip that goes in the uh, back glass, and that allows the software for the Wi Fi. Then the Wi Fi adapter, which is just a USB plug in, it's horrible connection. Um, you can actually get a can of kit, and the can of kit software is already built into the card, so you're good to go. You just pop it in, don't even have to worry about it. But uh, there is Ethernet cable that goes from here into the second board. Uh, that way you've fully connected, and your little scanner will you know, directly send to the network. But that's pretty much it. Now, when I first got the kit, it was 
the stupid instructions make this thing sound like you're working on a space shuttle, but when I saw the instruction video from Stern themselves, it was probably just as easy as changing a tire. It's extremely easy. Looking. Important word, looking. But let's continue. You have to remove your car. Check it out. Saved one. They came up really surprisingly easy. I thought these were gonna be a lost cause. I'm so glad. All right, well, if you've never known one of these before, just know these actually come off pretty easy. Don't sweat it. All right. Tools, okay. I'm using a 130 seconds driver. Should be easy peasy. Don't lose the washer. Just don't lose the washer. Um. All right, this is the network card you get. It is, uh, it is not good. Let's put it in. If you don't stick your tongue out, um, it doesn't work right, so. This just goes in any one of the two USB ports that are up there. I prefer to keep this in the left side because the right side is where I use my USB thumb drive for updating the machine. Won't need that anymore for updates. However, I still will use that USB drive for saving stuff to a thumb drive because you can back these systems up to a thumb drive. And uh, that way, if anything happens to your card, we install a new card, load all the settings and the high scores um, back to the card with the thumb drive. All right, now we just gotta put this in the empty slot. We're good to go. Okay, now that the card's in, uh, we just close this back up. All right, there's actually a little tiny hole right down there. Well, what I'm gonna do is feed network cable right through that hole. And then set this right where it's supposed to go. All right, so inside the, the system here, there's a, basically a plug. Uh, it's a Cat5 spacer plug. Grab it and pull it out. There you go. All right. All right, rather than try to deal with the rest of it underneath there. I'm just gonna I pop this out and I'll just run it underneath, which will be like half the time. <clears throat> it's super freaking easy compared to what I was doing there. And I can pretty much run this right along with the rest of the wires that are in here. And that's probably the best idea. Bada bing. Done. Now we just put this back in here, bolt it down, and uh, we should be good to go. I'm tight. Uh... Good to go. Instruction card. I'm gonna run a, a fire up test just to make sure before I put in the glass. Getting connection. Okay, last thing to do is put the glass on. Let's do it. Trusty gloves. All right, 
So I know it works. Now I just need to get it registered. That's gonna be step two. <laughs> but everything is in the little packet that they give you. So it should take no time at all. Um, I will go ahead and register the uh, machine with serial number and we'll be right back. All right, moment of truth. super freaking easy man i am happy this thing is insanely awesome now um not that it was not awesome before but i mean you know to be able to bring all of your old stats over from pretty much every other time you played is freaking sweet uh if you've ever installed one of these kudos it was way easier than i ever expected it to be um and the initial instructions made it seem extremely hard but they didn't make it clear that what they were showing you was the limited edition install, uh, whereas this is a Pro, which takes like two bolts. I mean, you saw it, it was super easy. And overall, like probably a total of a half an hour. So extremely easy, well worth the upgrade. I think these ran about 159 to 200 bucks. So if you don't have one yet, and you can, get one. All right, the only thing left to do is to beat the Rexer Show score, which is still number two. So, uh, wish me luck. 